Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a little known aspect of the ascension process. So we'll have more on that in a second. I do want to let everyone know I've recently gone to releasing videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 a.m. Uh, just to provide a little more consistency. Otherwise I was kind of letting them go as soon as I made them or just randomly. So hopefully this will help out a little bit. I'm starting to build a bit of a bit backlog and if I can get enough of those in the backlog I might be able to go to uh, uh, every day at 7. So Keep that, keep that in mind. If you like the content, check back at those times and you should be able to get the next video. Alright, let's check out this next aspect for the ascension process. I've got one of the characters here ready, ready to go and have the next ascension. And it's actually Torchy, so we'll work our way down there. Here's Torchy. Just a humble level 20 right now, but he is ready for his ascension. Alright, so here we go. The big thing is everyone knows that you get these skills that are unlocked at this point. What I didn't know until relatively recently, and I think there's a bit of, uh, has been a bit of uncertainty online in the forums and that sort of thing, is that you actually get a stat bonus as well, which explains a lot for me looking back. I noticed, I remember fighting a lot of, especially Willow Swift characters that were uh, you know, maybe a four star or something, and I had four star, but didn't have them fully ascended. And they were doing a lot more damage, and I didn't understand why it was happening, because I thought Ascension would only do a stat buff, or only do uh, unlock those skills. But it doesn't. It does that stat buff as well, and it's a significant stat buff. So it's on the same order as the star level. It's on that same 10% order, and we're going to see that here in a second. I'll do it in the video so you can see the bonus here. Keep track. The, the health is at about 750, uh, attack at about 430. So the star level is really important. It turns out that the ascension level is also really important. And you can imagine going from a one star character to a five star gives you something like a 45% bonus in, st in your stats, which, you know, when you're taking a hit, that means your health is that much higher, but your defense is a lot higher too. So you're, um, you know, you're taking a smaller hit to begin with and you're taking it out of a larger health pool. So it really makes a big difference. And basically adding like two additional star levels on you know, getting up to something like a 7-star equivalent, there's just a huge difference in your character between that 1-star not ascended and, you know, effectively 7-star. There's a huge difference. And then even if you're at, say, you've got two 3-star characters, but one of them has both of the ascensions, it makes a huge difference on the stats. So, all right, we'll look back at this real quick. 750 on the health, 430 on the attack. You can always pause and go back and forth if you want. We'll go ahead with this ascension. Awesome. Very exciting music duo along with that. We look back. Now, there's no changes. You say, well, what happened? Didn't change. You'll see that same behavior when you're looking at uh, doing your star level. So when you get your star level up to the next point, you look back at the stats and you say, oh, nothing changed. But that's just an interface issue. There's just some problem. It doesn't update when you go like this. So we'll close out a Torchy and we'll go back in. Go into stats. Look down here. Now the attack went from 433 up to 467. So not quite a 10% bump, but we're also at a lower star level right now. So those those things seem to multiply against each other. So the higher you get that star level, you've got another piece in that, and you're going to add it up. So here, again, we bumped our health up to 815. So maybe a smaller bump right now in percentage-wise than, um, than the star level. But if you then have a five-star character and you get that small percentage boost on there, or depending on how they're multiplying it out, it still adds up to being a significant boost to the character. Um, and that, you know, all those things add in together. We found out relatively recently that the star level, you know, if you see in the transition screen where it says star level increases your attack, your defense, your health, and your skill, it also, we learned, increases your critical chance. And so it's very likely that this operates the same way. In order to have the maximum critical chance, you also need to have the fully ascended character. All those little multipliers multiply together to make a big difference in the final uh, stats and numbers for those characters. So that's that's all there really is for that. Um, but I think it is, like I said, a thing that I learned recently and I don't think is all that well known. So we'll leave that there. Um, I've got another video out that discusses this, but I know everyone's not going to hit every video. So I wanted to mention, because I think this is also not well known, when you use 
your friends' characters. We all know that they get 30 scrolls from that, but what may not be known is that you also get 30 scrolls from that. So I'm just, I've already thrown it out in another video, but I know a lot of people missed that, so I wanted to mention it really quickly. That's another way that you can get a lot of scrolls really quickly. With 30 something friends like this, you can get about a thousand a day just by keeping up. And there's you know plenty of energy each day to do that. Like a thousand scrolls from that, and then you get a bunch of scrolls from your dungeon rating, which increases as you get to higher levels. You get more and more scrolls there. So I want to encourage everyone just keep those in, keep those coming, uh, you know, keep rolling and and getting those uh, scroll rolls in. That's all we've got for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content, and we'll see you back soon. Thanks for watching.